Yo, what's going on guys, John here. Welcome back to another video. So today we're going to be reacting to MVP gives Cedric Alexander something to think about. And yeah, so before we do that, let's smash the like button. Don't forget to turn on those post notifications that way you'll be notified. And subscribe to me if you want to see more videos. And yeah, let's get into it. I'm going to spare you the condolences on you and Ricochet losing to me and Lashley earlier. But I do have some questions. Questions? Yeah, I do, man. What questions do you have? Well, before I get to that, I just want you to know that it takes a lot of heart to stand up to me and Lashley. And you've got that plus. I'm impressed by that. As a matter of fact, I'm going to tell you the truth. I've always been impressed by you. Which is why I don't understand why you're holding yourself back. I've seen this before. My question is this. Why is it that someone with your talent, your ability, your skill set, content being Ricochet's sidekick? P, I see what you're trying to do. I'm not having it. I see it mile away. All you're trying to do is divide and conquer, okay? And I'm, I, I ain't trying to hear it, all right? Just, okay, okay, all right. So let's just say you and Ricochet are equal partners. That would explain why Ricochet has a, uh, you know, I realized that he has a he has a thing around his arm that says Black Lives Matter, you know, because, you know, Cedric, you know, Cedric is black and, you know, I just like literally respect respect him, though. And that's why, like, he that's why, like, um, he he put us like around his arm, like Black Lives Matter, like, which is a good thing because, you know, he respect the black people, though. Which is good. Uh, new WWE 365 documentary on the WWE Network. <laughs> And you don't. Look, man, I'm gonna keep it real with you, said. If you content being Ricochet's sidekick, there's that word again. Watching life from the sidelines, that's on there's you. There's that word again. Me and Bobby Lassie, we in the hurt business, man. You, <laughs> you in the catering business. Cause that's where you're gonna sit for the rest of your career watching other people be successful. Bon appetit. I guess that wasn't even that bad at all. I mean, I don't know if MVP is telling the truth or not. That I mean, he said like he's really impressed with Cedric Alexander's move. I'm not sure about it or if he's lying, but, but I don't know. But I'm pretty sure he's lying because I'm pretty sure like you know, MVP wanted to end Cedric Alexander's career, but you know, Cedric is young and you know, he's talented. But I also feel like he deserves to like get the opportunities for for any titles, like the WWE Champion Championship, United States Championship, or Intercontinental Championship. But yeah. But anyways, guys. So if you guys enjoyed the video, like comment down below to see which videos you want to see next. Subscribe to me if you want to see more videos. And yeah. Anyways, guys. So I'll see you guys next time. So peace.